Good afternoon, it's Jan from Twink Stamping. Thank you for joining me today. Today I've come along to uh, show you how I've created some um, backgrounds using ink pads, uh, a little bit of water and a bit of white acrylic paint. Um, it's a old technique. I'm sure there's lots of people that are doing the same thing, but I gave it a go. Uh, to create some backgrounds um, these are two of my backgrounds um, they look quite um, bright in in the light here but they are actually quite muted um, but anyway I'm going to show you how to do that and then once we've done that I'll show you how I've created this card um, it's a very plain and simple card um, yeah all I've done is created the background, created the background and then uh, die cut using the encircled with nature die set and you get all the beautiful colours all the way around. Now, um, I personally couldn't colour in like that. Um, I'm useless at colouring in anyway, but I just thought this was a really nice, simple card um, using up the lovely papers i've actually created a couple of cards using um that and um a butterfly die i put a butterfly die about that and created another card as well uh, the sending love sentiment is from the country flowers uh, stamp set uh, the butterfly is from an old set of um dies of Stampin' Up did, which were brilliant wings dies. Um, I'm sure you must have butterfly dies or flower die or something that you could use. The flower, the butterfly is actually um, cut from the new, it's going to be, be a bit glary, the new um, glitter card from Stampin' Up. Um, it's the In Colour Glimmer Speciality Paper. Uh, there's six sheets. One each of peach pie, petunia pot, pretty in pink, shy shamrock and summer splash. All the colours are in here. The pink has obviously been the favourite. Um, these are the different colours. That's petunia pop, shy shamrock and summer splash. Really, really beautiful. And obviously they're non-shed glitter card beautiful really beautiful and that's that's the peach one i think that's called the uh, peach pie this one but it's obviously it's like gold okay and that's what i've cut the butterfly from uh, and then just stuck it on the side say so really simple card but very effective very pretty well i would say that wouldn't i because it's mine <laughs> but anyway uh, let's get going. So what you're going to need is um, three, well I I had three colours which were um, Pretty in Pink, Lemon Lolly and Balmy Blue. Oh, I'm not used to working on my, my nice new glass mat. Um, I put them down a bit harshly, didn't I? So they're the three colours I've chosen to use. Then you're going to need a piece of um, watercolour card. Um, you can purchase watercolour card from Stampin' Up. It's the Fluid 100 watercolour paper. Okay, and that's that. You're going to need some water. Some water. And we're going to use a carrier bag. Now, a carrier bag, these type of carrier, these bags, you know, that are all um, really thin. Uh, and we're going to use one of those to help create the background. Trust me, trust me. Um, uh, anything else do I need? Do, 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 do. Oh, you need a heat gun because in between each um, each ink, I will have to um, heat it up to dry it off. Okay, that may get a little bit annoying um, because I'll be turning the heat gun on every now and then. Um, so when you get to that bit, just turn the sound down. Um, I won't be editing this to miss out the 
um, miss out the sound of the heat gun. I wish I had time to actually edit my videos, but you know me, you get them as I do them. You know, warts and all. Anyway, mind you, saying that, this is about a take 554 today because I kept saying things wrong and doing things wrong. So hopefully I'm going to get through this video without too many aggros. Okay, I'm using Balmy Blue first and all I'm going to do is lay down some ink on my mat. Um, I would normally use, uh, before I got my glass mat, I used the grid paper that Stampin' Up um, sell. The grid paper, there's, all, there's different types now, but this is the one I've got. And I actually laminate all mine um, so that they can be used in classes with the messy stuff and all I get them to do is turn it over, do all the messy stuff, clean it all up and then they can put it back in front of them again to finish off the card. Um, but yeah, so if you haven't got a um, a mat, glass mat yet, I would urge you to buy one because they are brilliant. I'm just going to lightly miss my card, lightly she says, and gets it everywhere. Right. Okay, I'll be doing a lot of wiping. Okay, so I've just sprayed my sprayed my um, ink with water, and I'm just going to splash it in there, and I'm just going to pop it onto my card. Now this blue, to me, looks a little bit dirty today. I'm not sure I like it to be honest. Let me try a bit more with less water. Obviously, I'm going to need a little bit, but not as much as last time. Um, because you do want it quite vibrant, because once you... That's better. Once you've... Um, right, that is it. That is all I'm going to do with my blue. I'm just going to wipe my bag. Wipe my mat. Oh, it's lovely having this glass mat. It really is. It cleans up so good. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm going to quickly quickly as possible dry this off and i hope you don't get too annoyed so put your um put your uh, mute button on while i just quickly do this Okay. Okay. So that's virtually dry now. So I better put that up. Actually, I'm not going to put it away because I might add to it if I'm not happy with the colouring. Right, I'm going to lay my pretty pink down now. Oops. A little bit of water. Scrunch up my bag. You can do this with... Um, with anything really. Um, I've seen people on the internet using bubble wrap. Um, yeah, bubble wrap is all I can think of at the minute, but yeah. What was I using? Uh, the back side of bubble wrap, because I didn't want blobs on it. So that's that one. Put your mute button on again. Put the little blobs on there, that's a little bit stubborn. 
Okay. Back. Okay. Now, last one is Lemon Lolly. Love the name of that. Lemon Lolly. And we're going to do this all over again. Add a couple of sprays of water. Scrunch up my carrier bag. Okay. I love the yellow. And so you, you, you have to... You do have to um, dry in between. You really do, because otherwise you're going to load that with a mess. Because I wouldn't be able to go over it like this, you know, if I hadn't dried it. I'm going to put a bit more yellow on. Yellow is my favourite colour, so if it's got more yellow on it, it doesn't matter to me. But you get the gist. No two cards are ever going to be the same. Oh, nearly used it all up. Look. Again. Right, I think I'm well and truly covered. Just going to wipe down my, my top. I was going to be posh then and say my workstation. I'm not posh, so. Oops. Try to lift it up. There we go. Just as quick as that. So keep your carrier bag. The tissue looks lovely, doesn't it? Look at the lovely colour of that. Look. Mmm, beautiful. Okay, let me get the bag out of the way. That out of the way. I'm just going to quickly dry it off again. So mute button on. It's almost dry anyway. Okay. All right, I'm back. Um. I was thinking, is, is, there's not a lot of pink on there. Not a lot of pink. Anyway, right, now I'm going to put a little whitewash on it. Of, um, let me get my cake. A bit of water. Got a little pot here that's got some... Um, acrylic paint in and I've just added a bit of water to it and I'm literally just going to paint over it in fact I think that's probably a bit too wet Jan right we're going to put a bit more paint in there this is, I, I just added to uh, uh, water to yesterday's oh, pot that I had a class yesterday using this that looks a bit better and I'm literally going to paint this over the top at first you think oh my word what are you doing but it will come right in the end I think by dabbing that I've removed some of the paint haven't I never mind what we do is we dry it and then we'll put some more paint on not paint ink just wipe that down yes that's that's what I've done I rubbed it with my tissue didn't I mute Now, I'm hoping I'll be able to rectify this. If not, I'm starting again. And you'll see the video. 
in its entirety again. But you won't know if it is or not because uh, because you won't know, will you? I won't come on and say, right, this is the second attempt. Ooh. In fact, this might be quite nice. That's pink. That might have been quite a nice yeah. happy accident. Well, not an accident, was it? But you know what I mean. Okay, mute. Okay, that's looking good. Right, I'm gonna now put a wash on, a nice light wash. It's very, very, I'm using the brush very lightly. saying to the ladies yesterday just trust the process trust the process there we go that's it i'm not doing any more on that i'm going to remove this get that paint off me mat you know of course you don't have to put a white wash on it but the reason I put a white wash on it is because I want it to be muted. Okay, I'm just going to dry that off now for the 15th time. So, mute. see that well of course you can see it but it's very very muted um, now that the whitewash has dried um, these are these are a, a lot brighter I think I might have used a different color on these to what I've used on this but it doesn't matter it doesn't bother me at all um, yeah so we'll give this a go now um, what do I need? I need uh, the dye. Which is in here somewhere. Right and I'm going to quickly die cut this one out. Now where do I want to cut? If we cut there, we'll get a lot of yellows and blues. I'm going to cut it down this end, I think. So I won't be a second. Oh, um, well, I could just bring the, bring the machine over. Right. Oh, sorry. I'm joking you about maybe I should have done it over there go back and forward a couple of times because using the watercolor card it's not um it's quite thick so go through a couple of times hopefully that's cut yeah let's take that off put this over there
don't throw that bit away you can use that to cut a butterfly out or a flower or anything else you want to cut out sorry i've just just put my pokey tool on right now can you see that not sure if you can it's better actually if I put it up against white. Um, also, what I did find is if you wink of Stella, which I like to do on everything, if you wink of Stella this, not completely, but just on your little, excuse me, um, you'll find that it brings the colour out a bit more. Is the yellow just trying to do this very quickly so that the video is not too long okay so that's that right you're gonna need a, a card base you know your normal put it in your trimmer a4 put your um Shortest side at the top, cut down at 10.5 centimetres, turn it, put it at 14.9 and score. And that is your base card. I've cut this piece at 13.9 uh, by 9.5. And I'm going to glue this down. Just get some glue on the back. Okay. Very good at getting things straight. That's okay. Now you should be able to see now the colour. Can you see? Comes up a beautiful muted colour. I'm going to have it there, I think. Going to use my little bottle of glue with a very very fine tip and i'm going to pop some glue just on the outsides oh, my stomach keeps rumbling it's got no no reason to i've been stuffing my face all morning all right I'm going to place that on there. Do you know what I haven't done, don't you? The sentiment. So I've got to make sure that I stamp that properly. Oh dear. Okay, I've used the Sending Love. Um, now I can't see it. Here it is. The Sending Love sentiment. Love that one. I'm just going to ink it up. Oh, beautiful script on it. I'm using Pebble Path. I don't find it as harsh as black. Um, wish me luck because I've got to do this now. Straight onto my work. Oh, 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 oh. Straight, please. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's that, and the last thing to go on is our butterfly, which I have already cut out, but don't seem to find it. Here we are. I've already cut my little butterfly, so he's going to sit there. You can really see the sparkle on the card. Pop a little bit of glue on his back. Pop him down, just hold that down there for a second. Yep. I think that's done. Oh, oh dear, never mind. There we go. So that is your card. And just to add a couple of more little gems on him. Find the uh, gems. Um, 
use I use so many of these gems. I really do. Uh, trying to find me silver ones for the life of me. I can't find actually I quite like these uh, the champagne ones, the old ones. I won't get that one out, let me find. Honestly, I know I've got some in here somewhere. There we go. I'm on my last legs now, look. Hardly any left in there. Why is everything always difficult when you're trying to film? sparkly oh <laughs> well that one shot off it's over there somewhere so i just added some gems just to brighten it up a bit there we go maybe lift that up a little bit down Mm. Oh, I don't know. There we go. And that's it. That is my card. Um, I hope you've um, managed to see what I've done today. Uh, it works really well. Obviously, you do not have to put your whitewash on it if you want it. Some people want. Um, in the class actually preferred their work without any um, whitewash on but I like the whitewash because it makes the colour so muted that's what I like I've even got um, looks like bits of green so obviously my I didn't dry it as well as I should have done it was this one wasn't it yeah I didn't dry it as as well as I thought I'd I had um, but I'm not I'm not bothered and I'm really happy with these. I absolutely love them. I've made so many now that um, I've probably got enough to make a box. Make a box full. See, that's that's the same colours. It looks totally different to mine. One that I've done today. I've got other ones as well, um, which I will get out and show you. Oh, I have got gems on there. I was just looking at that and thought I haven't got any gems on that one, but I actually have. Yes, I say, I've made a few, quite a few of these now. So um, I think I might be making a box to put them in. See, I've got this one. This one has got more pink and blue in it. That one looks like it's got more yellowy bits in it. See, they're all very different. They're all very different, um, but they're all beautiful. Even though I say so myself, I've absolutely loved making these. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll catch you all again soon. Bye bye now.